Welcome back Future Medicos. In today's video, we are going to look at the cutoff marks for deemed universities in the year 2021. So basically, we are going to look at what was the last score? Who was the last candidate to enter into the college uh, with the minimum possible marks, right? So we are going to look at, in a way, try to have an idea if I have certain score, will I be able to enter into a particular deemed university? So we are going to look at this based on the guideline from 2021. 2021, what was the last score to get into the college, right? We also will see what was the All India rank, corresponding All India rank. We will see both because the All India rank is much more helpful when you are comparing with your particular NEET results. Now let's look at there are about 49 deemed universities that participated in 2021. So we will see each one of them based on descending um, cutoff, right? We will start from the highest college and then we will go to the college with the least marks or least rank. So the top college in terms of cutoff is Hamdad Institute of Medical Sciences and Research, New Delhi. The closing score for this particular college was 561 marks. And in terms of All India rank, it was about 39,000 All India rank. Now remember, I'm going to show you the cutoff only until mop-up. I'm not considered the stray vacancy round. Later on, I will show you the cutoff for stray vacancy round also. But I didn't consider that because anything could happen in stray vacancy round. You should never look at stray vacancy round and do your calculations based on stray vacancy round. Because it's, it's always important you look at round one, round two and mob up round. Right? Typically, stray vacancy round is like a lottery. You may get a seat for a very low score or you may may not get a seat for even when you have a very high score. So it depends on that particular day who appears in the counseling that's going to define who is going to get a seat. Let's move on to the second best college in terms of cutoff, KMC Manipal. The cutoff is All India ranked 41,000 and in terms of need score 558. Then a third Symbiosis Medical College for Women, the cutoff was 549 marks. KMC Mangalore, the cutoff was 535. And these are the four colleges where the cutoff was more than 500 marks. 500 plus, these are the four colleges. Then Manipal Tata Medical College Jamshedpur, the cutoff was 492. So you can see that in the top five, there are three colleges from the Manipal group. KMC Manipal, KMC Mangalore. And then Manipal Tata Medical College, Jamshedpur. All the three colleges are in the top five in terms of cutoff. I'm, I'm only talking about in terms of cutoff. I'm, I'm not talking about the best colleges, right? Please understand. At number six, we have PIMS Loney. Um, so the cutoff is 452. So until top five, um, the cutoff was until All India rank 1 lakh. And then now below uh, the sixth college, we see that the cutoff is coming below All India rank 1 lakh. Now, JSS Medical College Mysore at number 7, 435 marks. Kalinga Institute Bhubaneswar, 431 marks. SBKS Medical Institute, which is located in Gujarat, is 426 marks. KS Hegde Medical Academy, Mangaluru, which is in Karnataka, the cutoff is 423. Um, then we have a new college which started last year, Jagadguru Gangadhar Mahaswamigalu. Moor Savirmat Medical College at Hubli, the cutoff was 416. JLN Medical College, Belagavi, also the cutoff is 416 marks. SDU Medical College, Kolar in Karnataka, the cutoff is 415 marks. Amrita Institute in Kochi, the closing score is 407. Now you can see that these 14 colleges, the closing rank is less than 2 lakh. So if you are less than 2 lakh, these are the colleges you can think of. Then MGM Medical College, Navi Mumbai, the closing score is 393. Yenipoya Medical College in Karnataka, the closing score is 390. IMS Bhubaneswar, the closing score is 374. Sri Ramachandra Medical College in Chennai, which is the most popular college in Tamil Nadu from the deemed university category, the closing score is 372. Bharati Vidyapit Deemed University in Pune, 363 MGM Aurangabad. Please note that we also have MGM Navi Mumbai. We also have MGM Aurangabad. MGM Aurangabad, the closing score is 363. Then 
we have uh, Sri Siddhartha Medical College Tumkur. Once again, please note that there are two Siddhartha Colleges. So the first one uh, is Sri Siddhartha Medical College Tumkur. The closing score is 361. Yamam Institute Mulana. The closing score is 344. BLDE Bijapur. The closing score is 343. This is in Karnataka. Sri Siddhartha Academy T. Begur. This is very close to Bangalore. The closing score is 314. Now, these 24 colleges, they all had closing score above 300. Okay. These are all rough guidelines. This year, it may go down uh, below 300 or it may close higher. We don't know. But roughly based on last year, the closing score is 314 marks. Now, at number 25, we have Dr. D.Y. Patil. Kolapur, the closing score is 257. BV deemed University Sangli, the closing score is 239. Raja Rajeshwari Medical College in Bangalore, the closing score is 237. And then below these, all the colleges are less than 200 marks. Uh, and predominantly, you could see colleges from uh, Tamil Nadu and colleges from Puducherry and some colleges may be from um, Maharashtra. They all the one normally at the bottom because their fee structure is quite high. Savita Medical College in Chennai, the closing score is 198 marks. D.Y. Patil Navi Mumbai, the closing score is 192. D.Y. Patil Pune, the closing score is 181. JLN Medical College Varda, the closing score is 173. Krishna Institute Karad, the closing score is 169. Datta Mega Nagpur, 168. Geetam Institute in Vishakapatnam, the closing score is 153. Wales Medical College in Tamil Nadu, 144. Santosh Medical College, Ghaziabad, 137. VMKV, that is Vinayaka Missions Medical College in Salem, once again in Tamil Nadu, the closing score is 114 marks. Arubadai Vidu Medical College in Puducherry, the closing score is 111. Bharat Medical College in Chennai, the closing score is 109. Mahatma Gandhi Medical College, 109. ACS Medical College in Chennai, 109. SRM Medical College in Chennai, 109. Sri Balaji Medical College in Chennai, 109. All these colleges, the closing score is 109. And Sri Lakshmi Narayana Medical College, Puducherry, 108 marks. Meenakshi Medical College in Kanjiburam, which is in Tamil Nadu, 108 marks. Vinayaka Missions uh, in Karekal, which belongs to the Union Territory of Puducherry, 108 marks. Lalitambigai Medical College in Chennai, 108 marks. Chettinadu Medical College, which is closer to Chennai, 108 marks. Sri Satya Sai Medical College, uh, which is closer to Chennai again, 108 marks. The colleges in the bottom range, like 108 marks, 109 marks, or uh, those colleges may not even have all seats filled up during counseling. For example, Satya Sai Medical College, I remember there were more than 150 seats vacant at the end of mop up round. So basically, right, these are the closing score for general category. Okay, you can see that. The closing score started somewhere at 561 and then closed as um, little as 108 marks. Right. That's for the general category. Now, let's also see there are some minority seats available. Let's also look at that. First, let's look at the Muslim minority. For Muslim minority, there are two deemed universities that offer seats. Number one, Hamdad Institute of Medical Sciences. The closing score for Muslim minority is 517 marks. And in terms of all India rank, 70,000. And any Poya Medical College in Mangalore, once again, it offers uh, the uh, seats under Muslim minority. You can see that the closing score is 378. Then we have one college that offers seats under Jain minority. Okay. So SBKS Medical Institute in Gujarat offers the seat under Jain minority. And the closing score for Jain minority is 357 marks. And finally, uh, we have also seats that are available for persons with disabilities and only one deemed university offers seats under persons with disabilities, which is Hamdad Institute. Hamdad Institute, New Delhi, the closing score for persons with disabilities is 109 marks. So basically, these are the uh, closing scores which you need to take note of. Now we are going to look at three important lessons you need to keep in mind when you are opting for deemed universities. Of course, I have done a very detailed video related to what are the fee structures you need to keep in mind. I have done a video. I will provide a link to that video in the description below. I strongly recommend you to view that video to understand 
uh, what are the fee structure? What are the fee components you need to keep in mind before you decide on a deemed university? Don't blindly go by the annual tuition fees, right? That you need to keep in mind. But anyway, let me come to the three lessons from last year. First of all, don't give up until last minute. Don't give up until the last admissions has closed, right? Why do I say that? I will show you the proof. Now look at Hamdat, which is the first college. You can see that round one cutoff is 35,000. Round two cutoff, All India rank 39,000. The mop up around the closing um, All India rank was around 30,000. So roughly you can see that uh, the candidates are between 30,000 All India rank to 40,000. That's it. Now say for example, there are some seats vacant in stay round where the admission happens at the college level. Now what if I am a candidate, what I will do? I look at the cutoff in round one, round two mop up. I see that, oh, the cutoff is around 30,000 to 40,000 All India rank. My rank is uh, 2 lakh or 3 lakh or 4 lakh. So I don't want to attend the counseling because I may not have a chance, right? Candidates are getting around 30,000 to 40,000. Worst case, someone will 50,000 will get a seat. Someone will um, maximum 100,000 rank will get a seat. Why should I waste my trip? Why should I go all the way to New Delhi and then waste my trip, right? You may think that, but Look at who got the seat in stay vacancy round. A candidate with All India rank 4,13,000. In the normal rounds, the closing score, closing rank was 39,000, right? But in stay round, what is the closing rank? All India rank 4,13,000. And in terms of need score, uh, in, in the previous rounds, it was the closing score was 561. Now, the stay round, it is 264 marks, which is almost less than half during the normal rounds. So this is why I'm saying don't give up until last minute. Keep on trying, right? You may get a seat, you may not get a seat. I'm not saying every year the uh, stay round vacancy will come down like this. Maybe next year, um, it may be just 40,000 instead of 4 lakh. It might happen, but you should give it a try. Don't rule yourself out. Don't sit in the house and then think that, oh, I will not get a seat. I will not get a seat. If you are interested in a college, Please try until the last minute, particularly those candidates who have decided to repeat NEET. You should try until the last minute because you may save one year by getting into your college, which you want, right? So give it a try. Give it a try until the last minute. The second lesson, the best time to get into a deemed university is round one or worst case round two. So don't wait wait until last minute if you have made a decision to go to deemed universities because the best time to get into a deemed university is round one that's when even with a lower score you may be able to get a better college and in round two you still have a chance to upgrade so ideally i won't recommend you to wait until mop up round but in case if if you have a chance to get into a good government medical college or maybe a cheaper a private college somewhere else. Maybe if you want to wait, I don't stop you. But if you have made a decision, if your score is very low, if your score is 200, 300, then there is no point of waiting for government college or private college because the chances of getting there is very low. So in that case, I would strongly recommend you go all out to deemed universities in the round one itself, right? Look at these, right? Um, generally, look at round one, round two and mop up round cutoff. Let's look at few colleges, right? For example, Hamdat. Look at what is the round one cutoff. 568 marks, round two, 561. And look at mop up. It shoots up to 578. Once again, look at KMC Manipal. Round one, 561. Round two, 558. And in mop up round, you see, it shoots up to 599. And then look at uh, Symbiosis Medical College. 549, 549. And then it goes up in mop up round to 555. So it's almost the trend in most of the colleges, right? You can look at KMC Mangalore, 540, 535, and then suddenly 547, right? Most of the colleges, if you look at, generally the cutoff goes up for good colleges. Maybe poor colleges, it may not. But good colleges, if you are interested, the first round is a better round because round two, you still can upgrade. Okay, right. Now let's look at the third lesson. One thing you need to keep in mind, don't worry that someone tells you, oh, seats will finish off. Seats will close off. Do advanced booking, right? Not necessary. Seats are in plenty. Now the problem is not getting about MBBS. Whether you can afford to get that MBBS seats is a question, right? Getting an MBBS seat is not a problem. There are so many seats. There are seats falling vacant. 
even after three rounds of counseling. So getting a seat in deemed university is not a problem. You can see that there are so many colleges at the rock bottom, right? You can see that many of the colleges, right? At least about uh, 10 colleges, the closing score is 108, 109, which is the rock bottom passing score is 108 for reservation category, right? So don't worry about getting a seat. Getting a seat itself is not a problem. So don't try to go and do advanced booking, go and give money to some, um, uh, some people who say that I will get you a seat. Don't need to pay anything in additional. Don't need to pay any kind of, uh, what do you call, uh, capitation fees or anything, right? Donation, no need anything. Just go through the proper counseling, follow the counseling steps. Your seat is guaranteed. Only thing, properly fill the choices according to what you want and then you will get a seat. Getting a seat is not a problem today. We have so many seats. The fee structure is so high. So generally, the seats does not get filled up during counseling. So getting a seat may not be a problem. Okay. So these are the three lessons I wanted to tell you based on last year experience or maybe even the last few years experience. Thank you. Bye-bye. <music>